Hello everyone. Suppose you are creating budgets or doing financial analysis where you want to provide context or explanation for a formula, then you know how important it is to add text before a formula in Excel. You can easily do this within a second. So this is Jihad Jim from Excel Demi and today we'll learn several methods on how to add text before a formula in Excel. Let's talk about the data set a little bit. We have taken a data set of employee expenses of January, February and March along with their first name and last name. Now we want to sum the expenses and add a text before the formula in calculating the total in the total expenses G column. We can easily do the job by using five methods. So without any further discussion, let's get started. In our first method, we want to use ampersand operator to add a text before a formula. To do that, we'll go to the G5 cell and insert our first text, which is the total expenses of. Now we can easily go for and insert our ampersand operator to merge the two cells which is the first value when the last value so we'll write down our first value as the b5 cell and as we are trying to get a blank space so write down double quotation space double quotation again the ampersand operator and select the last name which is in the c5 cell we can easily go for our next portion which belongs to the our next text is function here we want to add the dollar sign so we'll again use the ampersand operator and write down the dollar sign by using shift plus 4 in the keyboard we can easily move to our next portion which is we want to merge the sum function so we'll again use the ampersand operator and write down the sum function as we're trying to get the total result of expenses of january february and march so we'll select d5 comma e5 comma f5 so we'll hit the enter button to get our perfect result let's analyze the result a bit here you can see the total expenses is 8578 but before that we have added the total expenses of wade which is the first name harris which is the last name so we have got a perfect result now copy down the formula to use it for every cell so that's how we can easily use ampersand operator to get the job done. In our new method, we want to add text between two formulas by using combination of text and today functions and ampersand operator. To do that, we'll go to the G5 cell and insert our first text function. Now it has two parameters value and format text. We'll insert the today function as our first value this portion mainly works as value and in next section you have to insert the format text so as format text you can easily go for the month then date then year and now insert the double quotation and again go for the next portion this portion mainly formats the current date in the format month name year and there next portion we can easily move to ampersand operator and enter our new text which is the expenses is expenses is and now we can move to our dollar sign we can easily select shift plus four to insert dollar sign and again double quotation again ampersand operator to add our sum function along with it so write down sum function and insert the values of d5 e5 and f5 so we'll hit the enter button to get our first result here you can see that you have got your sum 8578 but before that you have current date and also the text expenses is so copy down the formula to get your perfect result by using the combination of text today function 
in our new method, we want to add line break between two formulas. To do that, we'll go to the G5 cell and insert the same formula of the previous method, which is the combination of text, today, and the ampersand operator. If we hit the enter button, then you will get the result, but there is no line break. So we want to add character 10 function to do the line break for us. So we'll select the whole formula and go to the ampersand operator. Here we want to add a special function which is character 10 which basically shows the line break here. Again we have to insert the ampersand operator and hit the enter button. Then you will see you have a line break here. So if you copy down the formula then you will see every cell has a line break in this case. So that's how we can easily use the character 10 function to get our job done. We can also use concat function to add text in a formula. To do that, we'll go to the G5 cell and write down our formula which is the concat function. The concat function is used to concatenate text strings along with the function. So at first, we have to write down our text which is the total expenses of so write down total expenses of here and now we can easily insert our double quotation again we have to select our next text which is the first value of b5 again we want a space so we'll again insert double quotation space double quotation and again, we have to select our next value, which is the C5. We can easily go for our next value, which is the double quotation. And this is is function. And now, if we want to insert the dollar sign, we can do that. And with it, we have to again insert a double quotation. We can easily insert our sum function now. We'll write down some function and in it we have to select the d5 comma e5 comma f5 cell so if we hit the enter button then we'll get our perfect result you will see that your total sum is 8578 but before that you have added the total expenses of first name and second name that means wade and harris is here so that's how you can easily use concat function. Now copy down the formula to use it for every cell. So that's how our concat function works here. We can also do the same job by using concat function in our new method. So we'll go to the G5 cell and write down our concat net function. In the concat net function, we can easily merge the text string along with the sum function so we'll write down our first text which is the total expenses of so we'll write down it here expenses of and now we can hit the double quotation go for our next text which is in the b5 cell again we can go for the double quotation space double quotation to have a blank Again, go for our next text, which is in the C5 cell. Again, we can go for our next text. So write down double quotation. Next text is, again, we can insert the dollar sign by using shift plus four in the keyboard, double quotation to end it. And now we can enter our sum function. In the sum function, we want to add the D5, E5 and f5 cell we can easily hit the enter button to get the job done if we analyze the formula a little bit then you will see that you have got your sum function and got your total expense 8578 but before that you have added a text the total expense of wade and harris is here now copy down the formula to use it to every cell so that's how you can use concatenate function to get the job done In our new method, we want to add text before a formula by using text join function. To do that, we'll go to the G5 cell and insert the text join function, which basically concatenates 
text string along with the sum function here. So at first, our first argument is delimiter. As we have no space here, so we'll write down nothing in between our double quotation. After that, we have our next argument, which is true ignore empty cells. Again, we can go for our first text, which is the total expenses of. So we'll write down the total expenses of. Now we can go for our next cell, which is the first name in the B5 cell. Again, we want a space. So we'll write down double quotation, blank double quotation and insert our new value, which is the last name. And again, to select our next text, we can easily go for the double quotation is and then go for the dollar sign and end the double quotation. Again, we can go for our sum function. In the sum function, we want to add the D5, E5 and lastly F5. If we hit the enter button, then we'll get our perfect result. Here, you have your perfect total expenses by using the sum function. But before that, you have added a text by using the text join function. Now copy down the formula to use it to every cell. So that's how you can easily use text join function to add text before a formula. In our new method, we want to use VBA code to add text before a formula. To do that, we'll go to the G5 cell and insert the sum function to add the values from D5 to F5. If we hit the enter button, then we'll get our perfect total expenses. If we copy down the formula to use it to every cell, then you'll get result for every cell. Now, you can easily use the VBA code to get your result. To do that, we'll go to the develop function and in the Visual Basic operator to open the Visual Basic editor. Select the insert option and select module option here. Here, you will have a new Visual Basic editor. As I have already my code in the notepad, so I'll copy it down from here and paste it in the Visual Basic Editor by using Ctrl plus V in the keyboard. Let's talk about the code editor bit. Here, the sub adding text, that means the start of the subroutine and defines the name of the sub. Then we have the variable name in the dim function. Now we can easily have the sum function for each x in selection, which loops through each cell in the selected range. Again, we have the x value dot expenses, which basically checks if the value of the current cell is blank or not. If it is not blank, it concatenates the string with the total expenses. Otherwise, it shows a blank sign. In case it has the next to in the loop and it has in sub to in the subroutine. So if we hit the run in the section, then we'll see you'll get your perfect result for the VBA code. Now we'll learn adding text using flash fail. To do that, we have first name, last name and full name in column B, C and D. In the D5 cell, we'll write down the full name here. So write down the Wade Harris, which has been in the both B5 and C5 cell. Now, if we copy down the formula and add it to every cell, then you'll see in the right side, it has autofill option. If you select the flash film file here, then you'll see it will show the adding text by using the flash fill option. Suppose we want to add text in the middle of a cell in a certain formula, then we can easily apply the combination of left and mid functions to get the job done. So we'll go to the D5 cell and then we have to insert our left function. Here we have two parameters, text and number cards, which will basically select the C5 cell as the text. And now we have three characteristics, so we'll select it. So this takes the first three characters of the value in the C cell 5. Now we can go for our end operator and here we want to add on the middle section we want to add M so write down M and now we have to go for the Anderson operation again and now select the mid option. Mid option here we have four parameters text start number charts. 
here we can easily select c5 as the text value then we have to go for the number 4 and then we have to go for the characters which is 5 this basically means that the subtracting of the value c5 is starting from the fourth character including the five characters if we hit the enter button then we'll get our perfect result if we compare the c5 and d5 then you will see here in the d5 we have m in the middle section so copy down the formula to apply it to all the cells so that's how you can easily add text in the middle of a cell by using these two functions now we want to add text to the beginning of the cell by using the replace function so we'll go to the d5 cell and here you have to use the replace function so write down the replace function and now we have four parameters at first we'll go for the old text which is in this case the c5 value now starting number as we're trying to get a text at the beginning of the cell so write down one that is mean the first position of the cell then we have number of characters which is in this case zero since we want to replace zero characters so we'll use zero now we have our new text as new text i want to get s so write down s in the double quotation and hit the enter button now you will see that you have a new text s in before the d5 cell so if we drag down the formula to use it every cell then you'll see you have a new text in every cell so that's how we can easily use replace function to get the job done so that's it for today you can use any of these methods accordingly or you can also download the practice workbook from the link below hope this will help you if you have any questions suggestions or feedback please let us know in the comment section or you can have a glance at excelim.com thanks for watching if you like this video please consider subscribing for more content like this